this is gonna be hey. Hi there, everyone. You guys, it's a big day. Big day. The moment you've all been waiting for, or at least we have. Mm -hmm. Also, happy Valentine's Day if you're happy listening to it the day that this listening. comes out. That's why I'm wearing pink bows. Love. I'm pink on the inside. That's that's my. I that I think is true for everyone, but work. Yeah. Work. I live. Oh, Anyways, yeah. how y'all doing? Welcome back. Are you guys doing okay? Because it's been a whirlwind of a week with uh, this. Oh, with say. this, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, gonna be like oh, dang. What's going on with you? Just this. It's crazy. Yeah, this, is, this was a rough two days for me. Was good. Did you read it in two days? Yeah, I read it in two days. That's crazy. Not I, not I. It takes me a little longer. The first time I was excited for cardio at the gym because I could just set it up and be like, woo, here we go. No, woo. Um, also, just once again, thanks everybody. Yeah, thank you. Today we hit 3,000 on Instagram. As of when we're recording this, yeah. Yes. Woo! So exciting. And so it's so slay. So scared thank you. Me. Our applause scared you. A little you? applause. Yeah, I wasn't ready for it. I live for the applause, applause, applause. Thanks, Lady Gaga. Well, yes. So, Anyways. Yeah, welcome back. We hope you enjoyed your time reading this. That sounded so ominous. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed your time. Your time reading this. Because uh -oh. I, I can't fully say that I enjoyed my time reading it. Ooh! I, no, that's not true. I enjoyed my time. Doesn't mean I liked it. Those okay, are two work. very different things. Okay, and work. We'll get into the whys for that. In a little bit. I came prepared this time, guys. I have a whole bunch of notes. Yeah, I have notes on my phone. And everything. I wrote an essay. I closed the book and I literally I was like, writing a full blown book report. This is crazy. If only we had read books like this in school. That's I know if only I applied myself, like the way I apply myself to this, I would have I would have done it, been a good student. I was a terrible student. I, I'm amazed that I was actually writing notes. That's how seriously we're taking this one. We're taking this seriously. This, this is it for us, guys. It is. This is our Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I don't. I just don't care. But, but anyways. Anyways, so we welcome just... back. Yeah, I say we hop right. Okay, because we have a lot to say. I'm sure. Yeah, we're gonna be changing it up a little bit this yeah. time. You've read it. You know you've read it. So yeah. we're not gonna be going through. Also, obviously spoilers. Yeah. Well, if you came. Into I mean, this some people thing, are titled, just House wild. Flame and shadow. And since, okay, actually, speaking of spoilers, we posted something like just being <laughs> kind of silly about our hunt takes about how we yes. didn't think he was Endgame. Somebody commented that they had already read the book and so they knew that it was Endgame. I was so mad. Okay, all I could think of is, wow, you're really cool. Congrats, you read the book about two weeks before everyone else, so now you decide to spoil it yeah, for everyone? Don't be an asshole. Okay, like, yeah. it's one but, thing to chat about things, like when you know everything, everyone's read it, or like, like I mean, be careful of spoilers, but when the books have been out for like a long time and people are like, oh, spoilers, I'm like, okay, a little bit get over yourselves. Don't spoil something in the comments of something before the book's out. Yeah. I'm mad at you still. Yeah, it was just the way they said it, just being like, I know. and as someone who's already read it, let me tell you. I'm like, bitch, it's not it. out yet. Get off your high horse. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, that made us mad. sorry. That's We've been for holding sure. on to that one for a while. Yeah, we were both upset. Anyways. <laughs> so. so. Welcome to the House of Flame and Shadow, yes. Crescent City 3. Ah! That was good. Thank good you. Level. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even, where do we begin? Wasting no time, but let's start off with just the two bonus chapters that she released that I read instantly. Right. I, right off the bat, we get what we've all been waiting for, Bryce and Prithian talking with Resand and all yes. of them. I, I love that. This was this was all I wanted from the book. I love how they quickly got rid of the different language barrier and was like, here's a pill. Right, right, right. I, I mean, I, I love it too, but I kind of was like, that was easy. <laughs> I, <laughs> Which I get because it's like I didn't want to spend too much time mm -hmm. with her like not being able to understand them. But I was like, a pill? Are we, are we so for real? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure that Amron's got special magic stuff all over no, the place. No, I, I mean, like, that's okay. true. I was like, okay. They got sure. Duolingo and Perithian. <laughs> yeah, on. I guess so. That was wild. They have Google Translate. <laughs> that, that's called Amron. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like how Resan kind of learned the language too very quickly and was like, hey, yeah, I speak yeah. now too. And Asriel's just there like, girl. Oh my God. When Bryce <laughs> lied at the very beginning and was like, there is a legend of dot, 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 dot. And Asriel just goes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and Resan goes, well, you're lying. She's like, no, I'm not. It's uh -uh. so wild. Them, first of all, okay, wait, let's just, I have just something to say about the beginning of the book. Opening up with Lydia was crazy. I liked that. I it, I liked it too, but also I was like, huh? I I did not reread House of Sky and Breath before. And so I was like, girl, who are all these people? Luckily, I watched who I, I forget. Wait, I actually wrote it down. 
Let me look at my notes. Yeah, I can honestly say that I Lydia's POV probably was my favorite one. No, Lydia room, ate. Maybe. Lydia and ate this up. She she kind of carried this book. Oh, for me. Becca and the books on YouTube. Thank you, girl. She posted like a two hour long um, recap of all the Crescent City books, and that truly saved my life. I I just raw dogged it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, I you just, have a better memory than I do. No. I. I forgot they were married. Straight. I up. forgot they were married. He, she was like, I have to get back to my husband. I was like, you're what? Like, um, don't play your cards that I'm like, quickly. I'm Hold sorry, on. so sorry, but I'm still over here. Like Bryce and Asriel, Bryce and Asriel. Yeah, if we did forget they were married when we did we the uh, so forgot shipping video. I know. You know what? I okay. still think we were right. Yeah, I think so too. Especially after this one, Hunt. Hunt was kind of getting on my nerves a little bit yeah. about it. It was just like, oh, I should have tried something harder to stop. I was like, bro, get over yourself. You're I know, not doing yourself any favors right now. Yeah, I agree. Um, anyway, so, you know, at the beginning, we're not going to go like, like we said, I'm not going to go through the whole synopsis, but like, parts obviously, the parts. Out, so yeah. like at the beginning, we have like Bryce with Bryce in uh, wherever with the mm -hmm. Nesta and Azzy. She's under the court of nightmares, I think. Yeah, in Nesta those set. tunnels or whatever. Yeah, having Nesta there was kind of weird from my point of view, just that it wasn't just Resand, Azrael, and then maybe Cassian probably, because I feel yeah. like those would be, no offense to Nesta or anything, but I guess things have happened in between. Right. If I that, kind of lived. No, I liked But you know it. I love Nesta. Oh, I love Nesta too. Yeah. Especially after this, this from Bryce's POV, every time she observes Nesta and such, I... I was on board with that. Yeah, I, I think it did her, I did Nesta a lot of favors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just someone, and yeah, I saw something posted, I think, that was, it was so good to see Nesta without context of what she's done in her past, without right, her right, past right. dragging her down, so that it just is her present and future ahead of her, and that how much she's grown from Yes, an I enjoyed that too, view. because she's a bad bitch, and yes, mm -hmm. she emphasis on the bitch sometimes, however, she really ate yeah, she, when she defeat when she like took down the worm thing mm -hmm. with the like mask on. I was like, yeah, that yeah. was crazy. I I liked that a lot. I'm gonna be honest. I thought she had lost all of her powers when she made sure Farrah yes. could give birth and come back to life. Yeah, and I was like, huh. That that actually reminded me of something that um, Elaine and Azriel is gonna be a huge problem if it happens because her womb wasn't fixed by Nesta. Oh. So, you know. If, if I don't know. Ever... That is such, that's still such a mystery mm -hmm. to me. That's a whole big thing. Elaine and Asriel, that's still a mm -hmm. mystery. Well, okay. This is this is going to be an interesting thing uh -huh. about the whole Asriel's thing. Uh -huh. I think this book was just practice for Sarah J. Moss to figure out how the fuck Asriel talks. <laughs> because this <laughs> man hasn't spoken for three <laughs> books. And all of a sudden she's like, I've hyped this guy up too. But the perfect man just sh shuts up apparently. And I mean, true. I think that's true. There's Can't some confirm. context for that. So when it, this he talked more in like these two chapters that he's in than he has the entire three books pri previously. That's that's actually hilarious. And that's maybe fun, maybe but. Bryce showing him some club music gave him a little oh, bit yeah, more of a, a personality. Oh yeah, for the bonus chapter. So, that was crazy. Yeah. Um, Did you read it? No, I didn't read the bonus chapter, but I saw I, that I one quote it. and I was like, "It's crazy." That's good. He's like, Ooh, "What is this this music?" All right. Okay, anyways. Um, we're just going to be skipping over this next part, which is Therian. Bleh. I He grew on me. He did grow on me once he got married. Once he got married, this man, I was kind of living for the forced marriage trope. I was living too. And that he's just complaining the entire time. And it I'm like, it wasn't what? Not this time, I'd say. This time, it was Daniel. Girl, he's like, what? The whole time he's like, oh, I messed up this. I messed up that. Yes, you did. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, he did. Uh, that's what I mean is that at least he was moving on from it. He wasn't like, Ethan Ethan took the cake for me in this one of like, oh. I almost don't want to wear this sunball hat just because it reminds me of Ethan too much now. That's true. That's true. And it's. Uh, I But at the beginning, Barry and I was like, shut yeah, up. Yeah, I was up. so, I was so heartbroken to have to deal with him being all, I'm staring all brooding in the mirror because of the choices. I was like, bro, shut no, uh, for real. Especially I when don't. we would go from like Nesta and Bryce to him. I was like, I, oh my God, there's a part later on that I'll bring mm -hmm. up when that happens exactly. And yeah. I literally wanted to throw this Boo. book right here. But you didn't deserve that. That wasn't your fault. I love you. <laughs> um, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Because it's not my copy. Yeah. Um, okay, but then speaking of, oh, so then we all, there's also Hunt, Rune, and Baxian. Yeah. It like that was that sucked. Yeah, that was also brutal when that they were like 
rough. Like being Don't tortured. Chain up there. Chain up when they when there was a line about uh-huh. runes. I mean, well, yes. <laughs> when there was a line about runes intestines on the floor, I was like, Oh yeah, girl. Yeah. I was reading that at work, and I was like, Oh. And everyone was like, girl, you okay? And I said, no. Sarah warned us. She said, you should be worried about Rune. I was like, he's just going through it. Also, his hand? He needs a hand. What do you mean? <laughs> a- a Baxi inviting it off his hand was crazy. I, I love that scene so much because yeah. I just picture, because Regulus is standing right behind them the whole time. Just him just standing there like, what, what the fuck are you guys well, doing? That's kind of dramatic, but also I live. Hey. We have 127 hours here in Crescent City, too. Why'd you guys do this? <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Um, but yeah, that gnarly. Um, what did I want to say about Hunt there? Oh, poor Hunt. He's uh, enslaved again. Rip. Yeah. Sorry, my guy. I'm, I'm going to be honest. The whole hell explaining the black crown thing, I didn't like that. I didn't like how he can just take it off later on in the book. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, okay, there was a lot about this book, I think I just wanted it to be too much. And so that's my fault. You had high expectations. Setting my expectations too I high. mean, but yeah, it just it's seemed hard. that at every chance for something mm, cool yeah, to happen this, in this book, something not cool happens. Yeah, it's just like something meh happened. Yeah. And it, it's very clear once Bryce leaves Prithian, I think I caught on after part one that, oh, this might just. I think she left too soon. She did. And it that was the cue to me that. This isn't going to be a crossover. This was literally just so she can grab this dagger. Right. That's not, in my opinion, as the amazing best-selling author that I am, of course. Well, yes. <laughs> Will be. Well, it's just in, in my, like, very yeah. know, unauthorized, not authorized, uncredible opinion. It's just, right. That's not how you should do a crossover. I feel you. bring a whole new world that's so popular into a your other one as well, mm-hmm. and hype it up. Like I guess it needed we to be a little up, bit more. Which is why I well, I mean, how are we? Also, in everyone's defense, we waited two years for this. Mm-hmm. So the whole time, everyone's it's just like anything though. We're all theorizing, thinking what's going to happen, and then it's yeah. like nothing we ever is going to think is going to be right. I just didn't expect every moment to fall so flat to me. Interesting work, and that a lot of the consensus that I've seen online, some people are like trashing this book, and I don't want to yeah. do that because. I showed up yeah. to a midnight premiere, so obviously, yeah, we did. We no matter there. what, Sarah won in this interaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this exchange. No, I feel you. I didn't hate it, though. I actually very much enjoyed it. And okay. I, like, when I finished it, I was devastated, not because I didn't like it, because I was sad to be done. Mm-hmm. I think that's something that a strength of this book is it's it does the opposite that house of sky and breath does where house of sky and breath was just like uh like kind of a drag to read and it's all just exposition and it's all people not doing anything and people just talking this was the complete antithesis of that which i think was on purpose because that was the main critique that's why i'll rank this one higher because unlike sky and breath something at least happened in this book which i'll I'll always take something happening even if it if if i don't like it yeah 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 yeah, at least i feel you we did something this time and it wasn't looking for it wasn't just an ethan pov for the entire book. Yeah. Even though she tried. She tried. She tried. Just... She tried. Although, okay, let's let's go more into the plot points and then okay. we'll, we'll talk more about um, something like that. V- Snow White, uh, Vesperus. Vesperus. Oh, yeah. Miss Girl Sleeping. The that was The first time that she was revealed, I actually thought she was a, a Valg based mm-hmm. on her description with the black hair and the white. Yes. Hay. I was I like, yeah, was this Maeve or something like that? And I... <gasps> I freaked out. Did you out. get really excited? I, I did. And then I was like, no, that that was dumb on me. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah, one that yeah. I, I retract my my disappointment for. Okay, okay. Simply Work. because that wouldn't have made sense. And that's just me being a silly yeah. little fella. <laughs> no, I feel but you. Bryce was really pissing me off when she was like, all right, I'll open this up. And I was like, girl. No, I that's when I texted wh- you and I said, Bryce is a dumb bitch. Yeah, I figured that's the exact it, part like, that you were at. She was crazy. Also, Nesta and Azriel were doing so much for her and giving, they could have killed her. They, she is an outsider in their land being fucking wild, with, taking their stuff with their, her, like she's obviously very powerful. She's in these stupid hot pink sneakers. I'd kill the bitch. I'd also be. L- <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then there, she's going to go and abandon them. Stand on I was business. So, <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, I was so mad and I love Bryce, but I was like, how dare you come into their house, take their stuff and then act like this? And then she just leaves. That's them. why Nesta liked her so much. She's like, she's doing exactly no, what I would okay, do. No, okay, yeah, work. <laughs> That's what she's but like, like. All right, fair enough. And then she opens up this fucking can of worms about Reese, and then she's like, "See you later." What? I, 
Yeah. That's crazy. I, that whole, right before that we get to Vespers and that whole hologram of exposition. Oh, okay. That I was, was like, that was a weak that was literary so, device right there. That was giving, honest. that was giving, because they always say, you know, show, don't tell. That was yeah. giving telling, not showing yeah. of her literally be like, so here's the story. Here's what happened. Guys. Yeah. That was kind of wild. Although I did appreciate, I think that it was. It, as succinctly as it could have yeah, been, they that, told us what was going like on. Like a Band-Aid ripped off. As, yeah. You know, I no, I'm going to take that back. It wasn't like a Band-Aid because it kept hopping through POVs. No, I know. Told. I was like, let this bitch tell us. I can't, I can't say that this is going to be another controversial thing to say. Mm, that that's what we've been doing. If the, it didn't jump POVs every five pages, yeah. if that, then even those scenes wouldn't have been as exciting as they were. No, yeah, I had us hanging on to everything. Yeah, and you're just like, I'll keep waiting. Especially when we would be like, oh, on to Ethan, and you'd be like, girl! And you'd be like, I'm literally only going uh, through this because I need to know. This whole thing with Sigrid, I, okay. Okay, I'll also the way he second. fucking kills her right away. Good, I'm sick of that bitch. I'm sick of her ass. <laughs> but so that was sick crazy! Of I, I didn't like Sigrid once. Her and every time that she was mentioned, I wanted to vomit. I, I was so done. I was just like. Let her go away. Let her free. Let her free, Ethan. Let her frolic in the woods. And he did not let her frolic in the woods. That's for sure. He bodied her so fast. Um, His anyway. His face going through her, that was crazy. But back to Vesperus real quick. Okay, just because okay. this was one of the coolest moments of the book for me. So yeah. it was kind of all downhill after part one. Oh. For me, at least. Oh, really? I There was nothing after that was really making me go, Okay, Ooh. per. That's wild. Because this was my favorite line of the entire book. Mm -hmm. Just when Vesperus is getting up and she's like, now servant, give me some magic or whatever. <laughs> and Bryce just goes, get fucked? Yeah. No, that was good. I was, well, how about you get fucked? And I was Period. like, I burst out laughing <laughs> and I, that was one of the reasons why I like Bryce so much. I know, I love Bryce. I do. I As real Nestor is like, let's, let's get ready to fight. And she's like, yeah, she's like, fuck you. I live. I live. No, I love Bryce. And I so love funny. her humor. That's, mm -hmm. I think, what's fun about her. Um, because even though that girl's been through the ringer, she still is, like, kind of silly. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hee, 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 work girl. She's a girl boss. I live. Yeah. Yeah. She is a girl boss. So then she gets out of there eventually. Yeah, because, yeah, Vespers dies so Wait, quickly. But also, weren't you guys kind of, like, about Bryce and Asriel? Yeah, they kind of kept looking at each they other. They kept looking, I, and she's like, he touched my leg. He, la, 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 la. Our blades were singing to each other. I was like. <gasps> that means something. No, uh, I was like. Sad. Yeah, no, I, I was never a Bryce Asriel, like, eye, eyebrow raiser until, like, I was reading this, and I was just going. No, I was getting vibes. Hmm. I was getting vibes. There was, there was something going right? on. Right? Let sad. us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts. I was. Definitely more than I would have thought there would be from yeah. canon. <laughs> well, yes. Um, okay, yeah. so let's Vesperus go. Vesperus dying that quickly. I really like Nessa chopping off her head, stabbing her head, yeah. fire through. Slay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slay, I live. I live for her just doing stuff. Um, this is, I wrote this several times down while reading just about how much I could not give a shit about Ethan. I could not care less. Every time he shows up talking about how Sigrid needs to be the leader of the alphas. No. So I'm just like, why do we, I mean, I know that he cares because he is like a werewolf or whatever, but what, I'm just sick of hearing about these fenders. I don't care. Yeah. Danica, I'm sorry. Yeah, how, are, how are we still spending are time still on her in this book? talking about Danica? That I, bitch has been dead since page like 10 of the first one. And that was the coolest thing she did. Die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I, Except, no, we'll get there later. Yeah, um, so when he claws out her throat in the fight with the Viper Queen yeah. and stuff like that, not for the Viper Queen, not yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, because she sidesteps like, dumb bitch. Uh, just <laughs> everything she did annoyed me. Like, why are you fighting? Why are you willingly fighting Ethan right now? Yeah. Nothing she did ever spoke to me as like what Ethan was trying to make her be. Right. Like, from the moment he killed her, I was like, all right, so Ethan's supposed to be the alpha, right? That's, that's where we're going with this. And he mm. kept being like, she was a chance Ooh. of the future for the wolves. It's a chance to be something different. Yeah. She was our chance. I was like, bro, you are very clearly the chance. Yeah. I I distinctly remember the prime being like, hey, you want to be an alpha? And you being like, me? No. That is what? so um Jacob coded from Twilight. Okay. When they're like, he when that's because he's supposed to be the alpha, but he like gives it up. And then the whole time he's like, Oh, you should be alpha. And then it's like, well, you said no. Okay, yeah. It's I also that the way he couldn't stop talking about Sunball. I was like, Oh, oh my, every analogy was just, hey, 
being an alpha is kind of like being the captain of a sunball team. <laughs> I know. I was like, stop. There's no <laughs> way. That's the one. Travis, Kelsey, have. get out of here. I was sick of it. Wait, do you think it's like football? I always thought it was like baseball. I have no idea. Sports, they're all kind of the same to That's me, to what I want from book four. Just an in-depth analysis of Sunball. <laughs> I would Sarah K M S. <laughs> the no. House of Many Waters. Just a Sunball it's game just a the whole time. POV at a Sunball game. <laughs> he takes his wife to a Sunball game. I can't with that. That would be I'll write it. I'll write it as a fanfic on AO3. Yeah, Please do. Please do. Hey, wait, would you guys read that? Would you guys read a fanfic of a Sunball game, House of Many Waters? <laughs> That's just Therian crazy. Whining about being on dry land. But well, yes. also married, so forced marriage. Um, yeah. Uh, I oh, called him Teen Wolf. That's that's the other thing. Teen Every single time yeah. something happened, I just thought he was Scott from Teen Wolf. Yeah, I've never watched Teen Wolf. You've but never. Mm -mm. I'm a Twilight a, girl. It's a, it's a journey. Yeah. Um, it's not good. Yeah. Well, but you love it if that makes sense. I get Dylan O'Brien kind of. I love him. He, oh, then you should watch it. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He carries that show. Her. Okay, but we haven't really talked about Rune and Lydia. Yeah. Um. That's actually next up on okay. what I have here is that Take it away. Lydia's entire relationship with the hammer, I didn't get it. I didn't I got that like he's very clearly like abusive or like yeah. kind of into some torture kind play spooky, yeah. in the bedroom. But also she seemed to be the one with more power in the real world because the Astori yeah. liked her better. So I get that she was doing it as a cover, but also you could have broken up with him. After a few years, been like, nah, he's bad in bed. And well, I think that we've that. realized why, and eventually, I think it's because of her kids. No, I know that. She, I think that she just had to do anything she could to keep it safe. You know what I'm saying? You don't think so? I mean, I guess, but that's just to me. That's kind of a yeah. weak argument for it. If it's like, because it was Are very weak? clearly a big deal. Yeah. Like obviously, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But simply because. She was hyped up for the other three books as this badass strategist villain. You're like, type why? Of thing. I get you. I and like Regulus very clearly like she's favorite girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yeah, there's, I don't know. there shouldn't be any fallout from her just kind of being like, nah, uh, I'm over it. Your your quote unquote cock twitches aren't doing it for me. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. That honestly, that ruined Pollux as any type of threat to me. Yeah, <laughs> especially from book one. <laughs> When it already is, is established that Hunt is so much stronger than this dude, but yeah. they've got some weird kind of rivalry of hatred yeah. going on for each other. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't really care. And to be then all of a sudden, he's just standing naked in front of Lydia, like, "Oh, you're on your period. <laughs> Never mind then." Yeah, that was wild. I, <laughs> you're like, Ugh. I couldn't take him seriously. The rest of the book, I was yeah. like, and maybe that was the point that he is a joke little bitch boy. And well, yes. Yeah. Yes. Which I'll be on board with it for that. But yeah. in terms of hit, me ever being intimidated by this man, no, never happened. Yeah, bye. Once. Um, so, well, that leads us to she it helps them escape. Yeah. She's helping um, Rune, Baxian, and Hunt escape. Also, this made me really like Baxian. Yeah, Baxian would kind of. He really ate. He was the little silent, solid dude the entire I time. I, I lived, like, yeah. Anytime he spoke, I was like, hey, bud, yeah. Yeah, he was great. So, yeah, so she helps get them loose. That whole scene was crazy. Yeah, oh my God, when she shoots the. Also, okay. <laughs> the entire group that is the hind, the hawk, the harpy, the hammer. Yeah. The I don't hound, know who's which, to be H's. honest. The harpy was the one who I mean, the last book. Yes. The hawk, he was not seen the entire time. Sarah, okay, Sarah J. Moss does this a lot, and it's kind of not my favorite thing, where she takes this cool concept of villains yeah. or something like that, and then kind of makes them good guys every time. So everyone then, like, gets a redemption arc. Everyone either gets a redemption arc, or like they were always secretly fighting for Yeah, that's good. true. I, you see it with, an Akatar with Jurian, Eris, things like where yeah. you're like, oh, I can. And so all of a sudden the world starts to kind of like shrink a little bit almost because there's right. not as much to be afraid of. So with this group of the Hind and everything, when the Hind turns out to be a spy, I'm like, well, she was kind of the only intimidating one that we've seen up to this point because the Hound you. is also like also secretly a spy. The Harpy's dead so quick. We haven't seen the Hawk for the past. Oh, we haven't seen him. Hawk. We haven't seen him in any of the books, I don't think. Yeah. It was our first time seeing him. And the hammer has been a chump the entire time. So oh, yes. the entire secondary threat, maybe, mm -hmm. was kind of not even there. Even Mordred, the, uh, what was he, the uh, bloodhound mm. or something like that? Yeah. Maybe some type of. Yeah, I don't really. I, I was kind of just like, all right, so it's just the Asteri. That's that's all we got Yeah. To fight. 
I guess so. I was like, all right, it mm-hmm. would have been cool to do something. But I yeah. do love the way the hawk dies. Just shot in the face that right off the pretty, bat. That was pretty slay. Um, yeah, go off, queen. Yeah, so she gets them out. You know, they then they're... She, I thought she died. I thought she was dead. I was like, there's no way. I think that bitch... Sarah doesn't kill anyone. I don't there's know, no but way. I was like, that bitch seems dead. And then, of course, she's not. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> giggling and kicking my little feet when she's in the like hospital oh, wing yeah, and Rune's like, there. And he's like, I can't go sleep. I have to stay here. I was like... Yeah. His life had become like beeping machines. I was like... Yeah, I was like, ooh, I love, I love, I you love stay him. Awake, tortured, <laughs> growing your little snub hand. Yeah. <laughs> so like, oh yeah, he's like, please, I don't need to grow my hand back too fast. Do all the healing stuff to her first. Mm-hmm. I live. Um, and then she wakes up, obviously, and she's like, <gasps> she runs and she's like, goes and finds her kids. She has her mm-hmm. twin boys. That's I loved fun. this. I loved yeah. that they had. She had kids. <sighs> oh, I- Alex Anderson. I I like that dynamic to her character, but I was also like. Okay, when did you have these kids? What's what's going on here? And they explain it pretty well, but I was just like, <sighs> <laughs> just something you like. Just more that we have to deal with in this book. Yeah, you know, it's just more side plot. But it stuff. gives it gives for me. It's the rune Dan and stepdad of it all that I'm like, yeah, you Maybe know, cool stepdad. Maybe like, I'm just. I think that, I'm just jealous of these kids. How about that? I just want that's to so valid. Come home and be like, mom, who's this guy? Rune Dan and Crown, Crown Prince, Prince of the, the Valbaran Fae. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm like, yes, give him the stepdaddy at it. I live. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was kind of, that kind of comes quickly together there of them trying to figure out their relationship, yeah. which comes a little bit later. When yeah, and then to. Bryce, that's when Bryce meets her, meets them there. No, Bryce. Uh, oh, no, she, she, she goes, goes to the Autumn, Autumn King. King. Yeah, so she goes she, to her dad. This was the beginning of the end for me when she leaves Prithian right off the bat. Yeah, that was annoying. Um, I do like the ten- the tensions between her and the Prithian people felt very natural. Yeah. Of just like, um, you're not going to let me go back. Well, no, because you could bring these things back to our world. We just need to talk about this. And her just being like, are you going to kill me or cut this thing out of my back? And Asriel just being like, or maybe it was Nesta. I can't mm-hmm. remember which. Just was like, we'll talk about that later. And I'm like, that's not the answer you give to somebody who can teleport back away from you. Yeah. That's, I... That was the wrong choice. Wild. Wild. So she leaves mm-hmm. and then goes to the Autumn King's estate, which was apparently on purpose. Which this was giving Aelin the entire time to me. It was giving Aelin. Of just the way she was like, just like I planned when the Middengard were. Or yeah. The Guardian. Mid- Middengard? The Middengard weren't? Yeah. When the Alaskan bullworm attacked, it was yeah. Yeah. just as I planned. Mm-hmm. Pushes glasses up. For real. And then same thing when she traps the Autumn King. Yeah, I was like, work girl. Um, um, then she goes to the, yeah. the, what is it, the depth charger or whatever. Yeah, after all. Because she's like, I have to go home. She's like, I don't know where Hunt is, but Hunt is home. That hunt made me. Where, home that, is where the hunt is. Home is where the hunt is. That made me, I was like, oh, that's cute. Um, speaking of Hunt, though, he was trying to get. A lot of answers while he was being tortured. Yes. Um, yes. and when Adis and Apollyon were kind of talking to him from the shadows while he was sitting there, that's kind of snake. Uh, it was cool and it was really funny mm-hmm. when Hunt was like, "Is are you readying your armies with Bryce?" And they're like, "Who? <laughs> what, do you, yeah. what do you what do you mean?" She's like, "She's there with you, right?" Nah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we ain't seen her. That's she ain't here. That girl's gone. Um, and then Adis pissed me off this entire book just being like, we need to talk about your dad at a later time. And Hunt's like, all right, well, I got nothing but time. Who is it? And it's like, we'll <laughs> Not talk now. later. I was like, yeah, Ugh. I know. Everything was later, later, later. You pussy. Well, he's period. A cat. Yeah. <gasps> okay. That's, Cause get it. Cause he tra- that was, that was a rough one, but yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I just missed it. Um, uh, yeah. And I was just so annoyed with his little secrets of just being like, I'll never tell. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of bonkers. Um, um LOL, I wrote down Bryce is kind of wild for the way she asks acts towards Nesta and as I put Ariel. Mm-hmm. They've done so That's much for Ariel. her and have every right to abandon her and TBH, especially after she left them. Mm. I said they are so slay for that. Well, that's crazy. Honestly, LOL. all of part two, I'm kind of kind of right over my head. Yeah. Right, I, right. You kind of breeze through it trying to get to part three, honestly. Yeah, I can't. I, I will say what surprised me about part two. That's not true. Part two is where they go into the caves and everything, and Bryce has that really dope moment. Of right, like judge, jury, executioner, motherfucker. Oh no, 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 no! She goes. That means that I'm judge, jury, and your motherfucking executioner. I was like, yeah. 
That that was another moment where I was like, all right, all right. All right when yeah. she killed, that's when she kills the Autumn King and Morvin. Yeah, and Morvin. That was so slay. I I thought it was so funny the way Morvin was literally just like, um, where was it? Yes. Okay. Um, fuck. Where did I write it down? It's somewhere in here. Bessie. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm my my brain's shortened out right now. It's okay. Oh yeah, where he was just like, um. You will be queen of the Fae over my dead body. Oh. <laughs> yeah, over my and, dead body. And Morvan Dur who realizes, mm, very poor choice of words. Yeah. I'm also glad that she gave Rune the opportunity to yeah. kill the Autumn King, you know, kill his dad. Because we learned a lot about, like, the Autumn King and what he did to Rune. And I was like, yeah. that sucks. Honestly, I, this is another unpopular opinion. I thought we were going for an Autumn King redemption arc. Whoa. That was the one that I was kind of looking for. Really? Because That's in the past two books, he's been kind of, he very clearly was awful mm -hmm. and continued to not be the best. But it was more so that he kept doing things that would like protect Bryce and yeah. like from the lands of, it was for his own personal interest as well to keep yeah. her safe and alive. But also like he arranged marriages. He uh, kept pulling her around, told her, her to use the name as like a political move so that she could yeah. be protected. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't get that, which is okay. I was so this is one that I was fine with being wrong about. I was like, yeah. all right, that no, that's I'm fine. glad. I'm like, get him out. Yeah, let Lisa her dads be, die. Cool. Let her be queen. Um, and also, so when she did that, that was when like, like, uh, life exploded from the yeah, place. Yeah, she became again. Moana. That's all I could her. think of when I was seeing all the islands rise up. I was like, but this is not defined. <laughs> yeah, I was giving like a uh, tip. This tip, is tip, not you who remember? you are. Whoa, that was Alexandra's, not me. Work. I know who you are. Okay, okay, eight. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. I will be playing Moana in the live action. Oh, I, no. that's scary for a lot of reasons, no, no, my dear friend. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Yeah. Um, oh, I, it killed me when, um, wait, when do we, no, that's later. Uh, we jumped forward a lot from yeah. like chronologically, but um, oh, Hunt finding out his parentage. That's where I was, in yeah. In the caves there. Um, the demon help test who, baby. Yeah. A little, little test tube. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of crazy. Thanatos being like, hello, son. I was like, you, that made me think Thanatos is a little silly, actually. He's yeah. also supposed to be so scary, but this entire time, if he's going to go up, hello, son, but he's not actually the dad, he's probably like chuckling to himself yeah. a little bit. That was wild. The fact that they literally, also the way that he was made to be f for Bryce, not for like mate wise, but he's Power made wise. in reaction to Bryce. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. That's what the Thunderbirds were for, too. Finding out they made those. Yeah. I was like, okay, all right. I was kind of on board with all that. Yeah. I think a lot of the theories about him being the son of a god were like Thur, the god Thur and such. I thought that w was a cool thing as well as a theory as far as yeah. theories go. But this one was one that I was on board with for the most part. I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. They, they made it. We kind of got a yada yada the, the specifics of it, but it's fine. Right. Whatever. I think that it – but. Uh, this is when I really got the ick from Hunt, like big time though, because the whole time he's like, like Bryce has literally the whole entire world on her back, actually kind of two worlds on her back. And the whole time he's like, ugh, uh, I'm just a little test tube baby. Oh, like I was like, shut up, gain some perspective. Yeah. Yes, that's traumatic right. for you to learn right now, but let's, it's we got stuff to you. do. This ain't your book, baby. Therapy comes Look who's later. On the cover. Look who's on the cover. You, you had your chance in, was he, he was on the cover of the first one, right? Or the second the second one. one. You, he was already on the cover. Wait, who is this, this one? one? Who's I think this is Hypaxia. That would make sense. Okay. Because of Flame and Shadow. Yeah, no Hypaxia POV. We just got Ethan and Therian. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be Hypaxia, but um, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Ick, Ick from Hunt, Literally so uh, big time. I, um, what did I say? It wasn't even all powerful daddy in this one. Oh, and he made the comment about her not being there for the torture that he, him, Rune, and Baxian went through. Yeah. I was like, shut up. I, that girl got yeeted to another like dimension, planet. You have no like I was so mad. I understand you're upset, dude, but get over it for two seconds. Also, I, this is gonna from a guy who's never been tortured, um, they were tortured for like three days and then they were free. You know what I mean? Because the, enti the entire span of the book takes place over one week. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's what they say. When Bryce is like thinking about over all they've done the past week, I'm like, hold on, it's been a I week? When, that's Romeo and Juliet timeline right there. When she like was saying days. that it was like 
only a few months ago from like when she did the drop or whatever. I was like, girl, that's crazy. She's had a rough year. Yeah. This is. No, but I was, I was so mad at, I I put in that moment, I wanted her to yeet back to Valaris and get with Az so fast. Like, I'm so sorry. I was over it. I have a huge point of like how Hunt's self guilt is so annoying. And also this is halfway through the book and we've had no smut yet. No smut. No smut. This is the smut. Ca- Why are we even talking about this part of the book? Hmm? I know. Hmm. I was like, it's not okay. Mm, I, I'm. I'm waiting for. Yeah. I. I remember why. Because when she, they're on the depth charger, the big submarine, they get together and they're just like, I would love to. I would love to have my way right with now, you. <laughs> but can we just cuddle? Yeah. And I was like, that's fine, I guess. But then it kept happening. Like it happens to Rune and Lydia later too. Yes. Like, Let's cuddle. I'm like, hey guys, I. I Sarah love was cuddling like, too, Sarah was like, but. T- how about <laughs> yeah. how about we make this not safe for work real quick? How about let's get to what we're here for? You, um, hmm. Yeah, no, she was like, we got Sarah was like, we've got stuff to do. You guys are gonna have to wait. Yeah, we had so much nonsense to do. Yeah, that's where we get to like Celestina and Hypaxia have broken up or Hypaxia, I guess. Yeah, they they broke up, and I was I kind of liked their little relationship. I did too. So, this is the first time mentioning Celestina. I think Sarah J Moss forgot forgot that she was about her. I know. I was. I like, kind of did too. I was yeah. Like, yeah. Wild. Um, oh, yeah. When Jezeba has Ethan working for him after he finally... When he's separated from the group after they break out Therian. Yeah. I was so mad because it just meant more POVs. Of just him. And that's actually when I started liking Therian more than Ethan because when they go to Avalon in the first place, mm-hmm. he's supposed to stay behind a Death Charger to be executed. And then he... Uh, and he jumps ship literally. Literally. And Sick joins them. He's like, drive, 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 drive. And yeah. I was so excited. I literally wrote... Thank God, less POVs. It's just going to be the main group and then Ethan. And then Ethan, but yeah. Anyway, so when Ethan is working for Jezeba, she says, and I quote, and this sent me, <laughs> you're not as boring as you seem. And I <laughs> died laughing because I'm like, bitch, that is, that is not true. That is not true. He is so boring. You haven't had to deal with his POV yeah. yet, Jezeba. We've been listening to Don't, his thoughts for too long. I'm only interested in this POV right now because you are here, Queen. No, that is, for real. That is it. And you know what? She ate. She gave us a lot of information. Mm-hmm. I, she she did. She probably saved this book, to be yeah. honest. Jezeba, well, she saved Bryce for sure. She, yeah, she did. Um, um yeah. yeah. Then we get to the <laughs> Reaper Sigrid part where they finally bring her back. Because when he's yes. all like, I have, I have to, to bring her yeah. back to life. To- I was like, girl, be so fucking for Snore. real. Snore. Yeah. I don't care. No one cares. Mm-mm. Please, please just do something different than this. Yeah. And then she comes back as a Reaper. And oh, I can finally get to my documented evidence of why this book wasn't good. I okay. Have factual give proof. us your, give factual, us your factual proof. proof. I was keeping count of how many toe curls. And watery bowels there were throughout the entire book. <laughs> how many? No, I'm going to have you guess. Guess how many toe curls in the entire book? 74. One. Oh. It happens one time when Bryce's toes curl in her sneakers. <laughs> that's it. That's the so one time you get toe So you wanted more cur- toe curls? That is the, that's the consensus. The more toe curling and watery bowels there are, the better the book is. Oh, I thought we were going the opposite. I thought no, you were no, going to no. say there was too much. Nope. Guess how many nope. watery bowels there were. How many? One. <gasps> Ethan's bowels turn to water when he sees Reaper Sigrid. And <laughs> I'm just saying, in the ones where I'm chuckling, reading how many times toes are curling, I enjoy the book more, I think. I, hey, that's a good note. I think there's a direct correlation between how many toes curl and how much you like a book. They're okay. directly correlated. It's a, it's a, I'm going to make a yeah. chart. I'm going to make a graph. We should I should have made one ahead of time so we could put we it up should here. Have. We'll put it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Damn. Um, that's a yeah. note for you, Sarah. Just that so was, you know. Yeah. Um, even if you wrote a book of just like every single time they took <laughs> Well, work. Um, okay. So then we're, uh, I'll, I'll give her credit for this. Okay. I have, um, I love in world metaphors and descriptions that she gives. Like mm-hmm. when they're talking, like they're equivalent to the Marianas Trench. I can't remember what it was. Yes. Called, but like, she <laughs> that made me giggle. How deep, how deep <laughs> something was. And I was like, I always like when books mm-hmm. do references. Yeah. Like in, it's the equivalent of like, the cauldron, damn it, or something like that. It's like, because that's yes. the gods and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I always appreciate that. It yeah, helps yeah, yeah. bring that me into it more. Too. But that's why the fact that there was so much Latin in this book kind of took me out of it. I was like, mm. oh, it's like Memento Mori. I was like, Latin? Yeah. Hold on. Memento Mori, Umbra Mortis, the house down boots. Yeah. Girl, I don't know. I, wild. Absolutely wild. Boom, yeah. So Reaper Sigrid hated it. Waste of time. I 
I think this I mean, girl the, just doesn't want to be a part of the only this. reason that we had that whole thing was so that he can become what he becomes. Yeah, but I think it's because I realized so early on this man is this man's going on his alpha journey. I didn't. This I didn't girl doesn't want to be a part of your POV. Then <laughs> just leave, yeah, her leave her alone. Leave her alone, please. The under king and all that stuff, which Poor we thing. can get to in a second. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. But um, Therian getting married is when I yes. definitely started liking his chapters. Yes. What was her name? No idea. Something with an S. Yeah. Yeah. Um, work girl. I think Flynn's sister or Flynn's. Declan's. One of those two. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're interchangeable, they're guys. The same, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, um, the little Fay bros. Yeah, I like that. She was a sleigh. They were cute. He, Because it's like he finally did something. He wasn't just there. I was mm -hmm. like, work. Um, yeah, so that's when I was like, all right, he's stepping up. Yeah. And I also love forced marriage tropes. So the fact yeah. that then they're shown into the same room in the in the castle, and they're just like, oh, I'll sleep on the couch, just so you know. I don't expect anything. Yeah, yeah. And she's just like, obviously, what the fuck? Do I? Yeah. And she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> she, she was kind of eating him up the entire she time. Was. It was no, so she fun. was. She was so. Like, I loved her. We're not gonna. He's like, yo, I didn't want it. She's like, good. What? I'm like what? But then also, he's like, they're, but they're both kind of like. I love it when they're both kind of like, ooh. They're like, oh my god, no, what? Unless, unless, no, 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 no. yes, but, I love but, it. Nah, nah. So good. Uh, <laughs> um, um, this is yeah. where I feel like it starts to get so wild. I've written again. Ethan exists to bore. Yeah, I hated it. Um, um, yeah. So Avalyn is healed. All that stuff with the Forge, black salts. We live. Autumn King oh, dead. Morvan dead. She eventually she goes. When does she go back to the Northern Rift? Is right after yes. the, she restores Avalyn and she yes. becomes queen there. She goes back and then she she gets the Death Mask. Yes. Yeah, so this was one where. I think my idea would have been cooler for this part because when she What's goes to the Northern Rift, um, Zombie Harpy mm -hmm. hated that. It's so boring. Didn't understand the point Couldn't of that. Care less. Couldn't care about the Harpy when she was alive. Mm -hmm. Couldn't care about her now that she's dead. Yeah, Couldn't care about her now that she's a zombie. I, mm -hmm. I just didn't see the point of where that was going. I agree. Especially because Hunt's Lightning doesn't even mm -hmm. bring back Bryce at the end. So there was clearly no point to like setting up that he could do that. Yeah, I agree. Flop. I think um, I wrote down why are you bringing your parents? That doesn't make sense. And then like I only to I yeah. got gagged when he was like, "Oh, you're trading them." I thought that was cool. Yeah, I thought, when she goes to Nesta and she's like, "Give me the death she, mask. You can yeah, have my yeah. parents." When she opens that portal, and it's Nesta, I screamed, and then it cuts to Therian, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, "This shit writes itself <laughs> right now." Yeah, but. Also, I think it's crazy that Nesta wasn't like, no, bitch, you're dead. Yeah. Because, like, what? I, I think she's had her own journey of discovery. So I didn't love that exchange of the justification for why Nesta gives up the mask. Mm -hmm. But her sitting in the House of Wind while the stars kind of start blackening out mm -hmm. behind, mm -hmm. I was like, this mm -hmm. is cool. Yeah. So what I wanted okay, from this scene, you want? this is what my thought for this could have been. Instead of Zombie Harpy, you get... And Asteri showing up right then and there to be like, we figured you'd come plotting in on one of the rifts here, so we'll just mm -hmm. kill you now. And then Resand shows up there, finally reaching it. And you know that moment at the end where Hunt steps through the gateway and the whole world of Prithian kind of shudders with the power change that's yes. kind of happening? Yes. You get that moment of Resand because um, he's, he's sitting there like listening in through the other side of the rift or something. And one of the Asteri, something us that they're called. Yeah, yeah is talking about how, thank you for showing that you can open a rift to this world, so mm -hmm. I guess we can't kill you now, but the rest of you, blah, blah, blah. And then Resan steps on through, because they yeah, established be cool. at the beginning, he's about as strong as one of the Asteri. Yeah. And so he hears that, enters it, you get the whole shuddering of the world mm -hmm. of the, as the highest high lord, the, the most powerful high lord That'd be really cool. Exists, yeah. comes on through. And you get Resan versus an Asteri, right then and there, you get a huge clash going on. I think through. people would have a problem with that though because they think that he already saves the day too much. Well, that's my point is that he comes on in so that we kill one of the Asteri there. Um, Resan's not going to get through it unscathed or something like that. Mm -hmm. So he walks on back um, being like, this isn't going to be our fight. We're closing this off. Mm. Don't bring our, our, our world into this. Yeah. Or something like that. And then Bryce uh looks at Nesta, and Nesta like understands that the exchange is gonna be made, and then does it, and then recent looks like, bitch, what the f <laughs> Yeah, that would've been it. slay, yeah, yeah, I feel you. Just, cause Zombie Harpy was something that I just- It was just was weird. So 
confused by. Yeah, yeah kind of out of it, nowhere for what? You just, and like nothing happens from it once I again. I agree. Yeah, I agree with you. I I just feel like that would have been a lot cooler. Yeah. So that because also one of the Asteri dies off screen, mm -hmm. off page, I guess. Off, off screen, yeah. No, I agree Goodness. with you. That was a good. That'd be slay. Um, but I know people already were saying right before the book came out, they're like, if Reese just comes in and saves the day, I'll be so mad. That's what I mean, that at least one thing would that happen. That he does it, yeah, yeah. And I think to have him come to their world would have been crazy, considering that he's like the descendant of, you know. Whatever yeah, that yeah. whole thing was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry if you hear that siren in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's go towards the end because we're running out of time. So, yeah, um, well, we're pretty much wrapping up because the rest is just kind of battles and stuff like that. Yeah. But we do get... um. A really cool moment um, with Ethan finally becoming the alpha. Yes. And killing. Uh, oh, when he's like, I want to talk to my brother. That was sad. Well, that was after he oh. uh, kills Sabine. Oh, work. Yeah. Anyways, so sorry I cut you it's off. It's great because he goes <laughs> to try to convince them and stuff like that. Um, Sabine is all mad, kills the prime and all that stuff. You know? Oh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and that's when I kind of didn't get her character because the entire time. I've never gotten her. I Yeah. And I also never really. I'm she was just kind of there. I was like, okay, you're Danica's mom. I always feel like the wolves are going to be a bigger part than they are. <laughs> yes. Like, I'm always like, I'm the, every time it. we get to them, I'm like, a little bit for what? Because they, they always are like, oh, the wolves, the hounds, blah, 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 blah. the, what are they called? The, like, hell something? The devils? The devil? The, the whatever. The, like, pack. pack. Of devils? Yeah. They always make them seem to be this big thing, and then they never do anything. Yeah. Even at the finale here, they don't show they up. They never anything. do anything. They all leave. All they right. all are in their vacation homes. Yeah. They do. That's what they said. Yeah. So I kind of want to skip over that whole thing because nothing really spoke out. He kind of cheats to become the, uh, the the prime. Yeah. I kind of didn't like that how it's uh, after he, because of that parasite in the water, like that he gets cured from by hypaxia. Right. And then all of a sudden he's stronger, faster, is Elsa. The ice powers. Yeah. Crazy. Just given the Rowan energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And so, was, I mean, we didn't say, but well, like, they the parasite know that they, thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's parasite in the water. Oh, that's crazy. Like, you know, they've read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Everyone's getting leveled up. So, I kind of didn't like that. I didn't like them all leveling up. Because then when Ethan, like, wins and becomes alpha, it kind of feels cheap. Because it's like, well, you're You hacking. only won because you yeah. are stronger because you're no longer. Yeah, you're hacking, bro. That's, yeah, that doesn't yeah, yeah, count. Yeah. Like, the second yeah, I become yeah. an alpha in that world, I'm, I'm kicking the shit out of this whiny bitch boy. <laughs> Fucking him up. Yeah. It's going to be just like a sunball game where I win. Girl, <laughs> That's please. the best metaphor he can come up with. I know. He, I, more brain cells from him, please. Okay. Best moment. Okay. Another best moment for mm -hmm. me, um, because Ethan's POV was finally getting interesting, is yeah. when they go to the Underkings area, and he's like, this is Ord, you know, the goddess. We call Erd? her Weird. Word. word. <laughs> yeah. Erd. Ord. I think it's Erd and Word. Erd and Word. Yeah. Because You're like, oh, Word yeah, that's a from... Throne of Glass, mm -hmm. I kind of giggled. I was like, Ooh, oh, yeah. um, let's go. He's like, that's a bastardization of word. I was like, well, say. Okay. And then I'm like excited because then we finally realize, you know, with Ethan's heightened senses, you know, he's all um, enemy, enemy, enemy because the Underking is a vow. Yeah. And I thought that was so it cool. It was very cool. I thought we were going to be getting a lot more Throne of Glass in this. I thought it was going to be showing sprinkles. up and everything. But I'm, but, uh, not really. <laughs> I, there's a there's a debate about this that we can have in a okay, second, okay, but okay, okay. it's I was okay with the little snip, snippets that we I was got. too. It felt like that was yeah. enough, and I wish that's what we had gotten from Prithian instead too. So yeah. Instead of just they're there but not being utilized. I understand. Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Underkim goes out like a chump, kind of. Yes. And that's finally, when he sees uh, his brother. Yeah, Connor. that was that, cute. That was a nice moment. Yeah. I wish I gave more of a shit about the wolves and Connor. No, I for real. We really haven't done anything with care. them the I entire don't care. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you know right now. We don't care. Mm -mm. No, that, mm -mm. that's the next meme we should make. Yeah. Um. Uh, and then finally, we get to smut. Back. To, I wrote back to back back blowouts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I lived. Because, you know, Hunt and Bryce finally get it on because he finally mm -hmm. stops being mopey about everything. I know. He finally I has like, his halo off. Let it. Just then, finally, with Ruin and Lydia as well because they've been kind of putting on the riz on each other for the entire time. Like when they were running in the caves after to save Bryce and all them. Yeah. And all of a sudden they were like. I was like. <laughs> hey, what's up? It was so good. I live. baby. That's, I, was, I was very happy, Sarah. Thank you for giving us the mm -hmm. little that you gave us. That's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a little mind fuck before. Now we have a fuck fuck. <laughs> Um, Crazy. Yeah. Slay. We 
finally get to the final battle then. Yeah. I was kind of upset at Bryce and Hunt when they're trying to destroy the Fey Light core and stuff, the first Light core, because oh, Regulus right. is like, obviously we knew you were coming. And I was like, yeah, bitch, obviously they knew we were coming. And then yeah. Bryce is like, well, obviously they'd know we were coming. We set a trap. I was like, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, you had, I was sitting there rolling my eyes, like, they're not going to notice a whole ass army coming out of the rift. What? Yeah. I, in this moment, so this is what I texted you, and I was like, I think I know what's going to happen. I thought they were going to pull a Thor Ragnarok, and I thought they were going to, the, the planet was going to, and they were going to have to, evacuate. they were going to have to evacuate. I oh, thought that that was what was going to happen. That's And they were been all going to have to go to Prithian. As opposed to what we got, which was. Black fucking holes? I was okay with black holes being the way to take them out but mostly it was just how the Asteria all kind of go out like chumps they Polaris were out fast, like they yeah. were hyped up as this all powerful opponent and Bryce is 1v1ing one of them and I was like yeah. I, I get that she's stronger now but it kind of undercuts anything that's been done up to this point if that's right. how easily it could have been done yeah I, I feel you. It was wild. I also thought the mask thing to bring back the army of dead angels was okay, but also how can Bryce use it? I get that she's also has the maid thing in her back, but and then Hunt using it too because he's made because like of her. Everyone, I was like, what? I it lessened the powerful. I just, and I also just mask. don't feel this like the stakes were very. There were high. no stakes, and I yeah. I'm like, how are the how did the stakes feel I so went vegetarian. low? Vegetarian. I didn't know that. What? There's no steak. Shut no up. steaks. <laughs> I went vegan. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I was like, yeah, I, I didn't understand how, how these worlds could be ending and everything, but eh. but I was like, mm, I, I think we needed a death, to be honest. Yeah. I think we needed I a character death. Need like a death or some other type of limiting factor for the We Asteri, needed something gnarly. Because Regulus was... is sitting there at 100% power and not able to land a hit. I yeah, don't... it was wild. I agree. Okay, I yeah. guess. So the black holes, she like pushes... Mm -hmm. Them into the black hole, and then she almost. Yeah, this was another thing is that um, they BBated or another Asteri dies off screen Maxed. fighting as fighting um, Apollyon and yeah, uh, what's his name, Adis and Thanatos. When he when another Asteri dies, kind of off screen while Lydia is fighting for her kids back and mm -hmm. such. Um, oh yeah, they took her kids. Rune, yeah, honestly, Rune shooting Lydia in the leg. Oh yeah, that was wild. I I. I was like, bro, what was the point of that? Yeah. I, I'm not seeing. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, it led to. Interesting stuff. It led to her igniting in flame, though. Yes. So let's talk about that for a second here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, that was such a cool moment that she, like, named her kid Brannon after an When old... she was like, Bran, Brannon. I was like, ah. I was, that's really cool because mm -hmm. a friend of mine texted me, Tay, mm -hmm. and said that, uh, Lydia's a descendant of Aelin herself. I, I was talking to her about this yesterday. I a descendant of just the Brannon line itself because I thought Aelin falls through just space in... Sorry, spoilers for um, Throne of, Throne of Glass. Glass if you haven't read that. Yeah. And when she falls through and Resan catches her briefly, which yeah, is magic, yeah, 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 yeah. but that means that she is still in the current timeline. But apparently she was falling through space and time when she was moving well, through her right. worlds doing her little plummeting thing. Okay. So these Fey could be descended from thousands of years ago from them. But I was arguing that the rift that the Shifter Fey came from uh -huh. was the same one that the Valg entered their world through, you know, all those thousands of years ago back in the day. Okay. And that's when they all closed off so that Aelin is still alive. So that Lydia isn't a descendant of Aelin, but she's a distant cousin because of the thousands of years. But her ring, though. That was the thing that sent me over the edge. Yeah, because she's, she's ring. wearing Rowan's ring. Yeah, so so she has she must be a descendant of that, or they just got similar taste in jewelry. I mean, know? maybe I don't. So that but I don't know. I was kind of living because also she's, I mean, obviously there's a relation, but she's um, described to look like Aelin, too. Yeah, that's, and that was a that was a theory that was going around for a while, and then to have it be true, I was like, ooh. So my fire breathing bitch. She kind of did that. Yeah, yeah. I. I was on board with that. Lydia yeah, coming through to herself, Theron getting shot in the chest. He deserved that for being yes, an annoying bitch for the entire yes, book, he too. Did. But he's paid his sins, and we're interested in his character now. Yeah. Anyway, black hole. Yeah, the Asteria all just kind of go out. They did. Just like it was that. wild. I, I I liked them falling down through, though. That was cool. You know? It was cool. And then having to use the, like, what was it with the... The mech suit that's possessed mech by Shahar. Yes, and then, like... 
They literally did the Baymax thing where he yeah. went through the. Th I was like, okay. I I'm gonna be honest. I wish we had gotten more from Sandriel and Shahar. Mm -hmm. Shahar, Shahar. I don't remember what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is because that was a big thing of the first book, and then Sandriel goes out so quickly. Mm -hmm. I just, it felt like there could have been more done from that relationship between with I Hunt just for his character. Yeah, because his character. I think I'm kind of like. What are we? What are Hunt, we I'm like, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know what Hunt's deal is now. I, you know, he kind of lost me in this one. He really did. It's. I think, and I think it's next to Rune. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't hold a candle. He doesn't hold a candle. Like Rune is everything. Even Therian is a little silly. Yeah. yeah. I'll put Hunt above Ethan just because. Well, obviously, yeah. Ethan's. Ugh. But Jacob, he well. got interesting at the end of it. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. And obviously, what's what's the girl's name? The little Omega. Pippa? No, not Pippa. Uh, Pippa was the uh, Poppy. Uh, <laughs> no, what is it? Pissy. No. <laughs> I don't remember. But There's yeah, some yeah. Little, the little, the little girl girly. Wolf. Yes. Not little oh, girl, shit, but what's um, her name? the little cute one that yes. he was like. He's kind of like sniffing oh. her like. Hmm. They're kind of like flirty vibes. This made me mad because I'm like, I'm so tired of everyone being mates. I'm yeah. so. I get that it's romantic and everything, but when everyone's a mate always, it kind of cheapens the effect of a mate. Like when Rude and Lydia were mates, I was like, of course you are. We're finding who uh, Ethan's mate is now. Well, that's just speculation, but he just keeps sniffing going, hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. And um, then I can't wait for Therian and this one random fae girl that he married out of convenience to be. Mates too somehow. Yeah. yeah. I, thinking about I want something crazy to happen because like she said before, they can have more than one mate. And so I want something crazy to happen. It'll take pop. Polyamory, yeah. Yeah, like why polygamy? not? No. I'm down for anything. Um, so, what was I, I wanted to say something. Yeah, Lydia's lineage right there. The Sand Sandra and Shahar just really did feel like an afterthought the entire time. And once again, this all happens in a week. Mm -hmm. So when Bryce is kind of dead there and the mask isn't working to bring her back and Jessica's uh -huh. just like, I'll do it. Her death meant nothing to me. I mean, I did. Cr I cried and I'm not a crier. I, I shed some tears. Mm -hmm. um, like with the whole... Thing of her being that with Danica and Connor, I was like, that's Oh, really I did sweet. like that. That was sweet. Yeah, but Jessica, wait, because she, what was it that she was like cursed with? 15,000 like, years old, yeah. cursed to protect the books because yes. Pollyann wanted to know what the weapon was. Because right. The books were some type of weapon, she was saying. Yeah. He's like, All right, use them. She's like, That's not how they work. And he's like, I don't believe you. Yeah, I was kind of like, Huh? But I did. I did love that she she had a because you're kind of like what is up with this bitch the whole time. Mm -hmm. She's so interesting. Yeah, yeah. So and she's like you're. She was the best assistant or whatever. Mm -hmm. Reading um, Ethan for his assisting skills, I was like that's hilarious. But I, then Rune right after undercuts and is like, should we uh, put her ashes in a cup or something? <laughs> no, Rune, Rune, <laughs> he's my everything. Hey, she just died and we're all really emotional right now. Yeah, but I loved um, I loved saying goodbye to Danica. Please let that be it. Uh, for the love us, of God. Please let us never let hear us. from her again. Danica, you died. You kept doing shit for some reason. Stay dead. Stay dead. Stay dead. Rest, Even Sigrid girl. came back to life as a reaper and did less for the plot <laughs> know, than for you real. have done staying dead for three books. Like, we get it. Light it up, girl. How about light it out and light it up. die? You like Fallout Boy. We get it. We all do. Who doesn't? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, but then they all kind of live happily ever after because yeah. of course they do. What and kind of the made Pegasus mad? Pegasus came back. Oh, know. the Pegasus. That was I didn't cute. Give, I, but I was like. For my little pony in real life or whatever the ponies are called in that Yeah, because she loves her little ponies. I, I just, I did like it, like for real. And I, like I said, when I finished it, I was really sad to be like away sad. from the characters. Got, yeah. No, I was like, because I feel like there was so much going on and so. You it you did care a lot about the characters, or at least I did. But I'm just kind of like, now what? Yeah, apparently we're getting the next Akatar book, maybe. And a, there's apparently eight books that are supposed to come out this year. That's what the rumor is, but I don't see how that can That's happen. What they say. I know. I do. <laughs> yeah, I just also this has to be Hypaxia, right? Oh, we forgot to say because Hypaxia is now the. Yeah, the height of the House of, of Flame and Shadow. Yeah, I her thing was also kind of like an afterthought in there too. She was just kind of also. There. What's up with this Ariadne? Ariadne. She. I think she was also forgotten to be written about. I, I just. There's so much in this book that was both there and not there. Yes, and I would love to hear everybody's thoughts because I know yeah. that it's very divisive. But I, I didn't hate it. I very much enjoyed it. I was I sad when it was over. I didn't hate it, and I was sad when it was over too. Because, mm -hmm. but from a different reason, just because of like, oh, that's it. Yeah, I. 
but I just love these characters. And so I'm like, I want more for them. Sarah J. Moss, I've said this before, is like amazing at writing these characters mm -hmm. because like you were so invested in all of them and that there's she takes so much time with all of them, you know, for better or for worse, you know, that we get a lot of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marian. I mean, but she did make do, me care about them. Yeah, she she shoves it down your throat. Yeah. But that's also one of the flaws of it's like there's so much that like the cooler elements of the story end up not really being explored enough because she writes And they almost such... get overshadowed. Yeah, so this amazing cool world, these villains, maybe that's just the things that I like to read about too. Yeah. Because this is definitely, like, a lot of people in our comments have definitely been saying how much they enjoyed the book, and a lot of people have been saying how much they hated the book. And yeah, yeah, yeah. been a lot of discourse out there. There have. Thanks for using our posts, though, for also, that discourse. Yeah. To the people who have said that we have terrible reading skills, that was kind of mean. <laughs> that was the same person. Reading who, like, comprehension skills? I was like, girl. That was the same person who, like, posted the spoilers, though, too. Yeah, also, I'm like, like, I'm sorry, I don't think it takes a high level of reading comprehension to understand Sarah J. Moss. Okay, that's pretty black and white. We say that we also did full notes and everything. While I'm, but I'm saying like, as far as like literary, like we're not giving like, you know what I mean? It's it's not like, I just like relax. I may be mad. Sorry, I just had to let that off my chest. I think, are we forgetting anything that's like um, a note for the book? Well, now they don't have electricity. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they're about to lose electricity. huge energy crisis. It's gonna be the yeah. 70s for them. Yeah, um, um, but I think that that's all that I remember. I'm sure people are probably screaming about stuff that we didn't talk oh, about. Oh yeah, she, when she, Bryce gives at the very end, um, the sword back to Asriel and it's like, guess you guys can use this now. And it's like mm -hmm. an end credit scene of just like, what comes next? And I was just like, okay. Yeah. Whatever, I guess. Yeah. I, I didn't check on desk sex. What? On desk sex. What are you talking about? Oh, Bryce and Hunt at the very end. They're like <laughs> oh. in the office. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she now has the. She's got the Pegasus to go take care of. Yeah. She's like, oh, hold on. Yeah. Um. That's that, I guess. Yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts? Please yeah. let us know. Tell us if you liked it, if you didn't like it, why? Yeah. Where you were if when we you finished forgot it. stuff, sorry. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was an 830 page book, so. And we wrote the parts that stood out to us, I think. Yeah. So let us know if you like this format better, where we just kind of talk about the parts we liked as mm -hmm. opposed to over explaining the plot too much. Yeah. We know, we know someone here loves to mansplain, so mm -hmm. let us know what your thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely me. know who it is. Yeah. Well, um, next time we're going to do Breath Mints and Battle Scars. Oh, yes. Hermione. Back to Hermione for the next yes. time. So, um, and I'm almost done with it, and I love it so far. Read it, guys. Spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. Read it. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning on in with us. And Thanks. And check back next time. Happy See Valentine's later. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Bye.